Appalachian Outdoors. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick look at uh, my kit bag, go bag, bug out bag, whatever you wanna call it. Everybody's got a name for it. I just call it my kit. Uh, this is a Everly stock. This is the F5 switchblade is the model. Pretty comfortable pack. It's got your cushion. It's got your vent open in the middle to help keep, with the, keep from sweating you to death. Shoulder straps are really padded. Got your D-rings on it to attach whatever you want on there. Got a nice carry handle. Pockets on both sides. Draw strings so you can draw them up. Several pockets on this and you got your webbing strap on it to add whatever you want on there. The, this outside pocket here. This is a Nalgen bottle. And a little pack of hydrate mix in there. I'll probably add a couple more to it to keep in it. It's, uh, I'll fill that up with water when I do get ready to go out. That'll be in that side. And I also have a regular 20 ounce bottle of water. I'll just stick in this side and I'll keep this one extra code steel trail hawk uh, light duty chopper don't take up a lot of space lightweight use it for uh, like I said light duty chopping or self-defense if need be Come around to the front well let's do the top back first top compartment so open it up our leather gloves. This Energizer little lantern. You can hang it up if you want to hang it in your tent or off your hammock or outside your vehicle, whatever. You need your little light. Stoves away pretty nice. You can open this up. And it is a headband. You can take this out. Headlamp to wire if you need it. Actually, a pretty nice little kit. Runs on a couple of AAA batteries. Side. Self adhesive ace bandage for sprains or cuts or whatever. First aid. A couple of contractors grade fluorescent orange trash bags. You can do a lot of things with those from. Uh, making a bed or a poncho or shelter or signaling for help. A little bit of marking uh, ribbon. Con uh, this is for contractors or surveyors, surveying tape. Uh, maybe if you're going somewhere, you're really not, uh, you can mark away in so you can find your way back out if you're not familiar with the area. You can also set this up if you're lost and you're going to stay in one spot. Maybe you can flag around your area, kind of give people an idea where you're at. Three earplugs. Seal cock key. Urban environment, you could use this. Outside most of your commercial buildings, they have spigots where they use uh, water hose to hook up to wash their parking lots and stuff down. Well, when they turn them off, they take the key with them so you can't just reach in there and turn the water on. Well, this way you can if you had to in an emergency situation. Silver compass. Stick this back I'm gonna stick these back in as I go so I don't have to reload all this at one time. Keep a number two pencil. And a Sharpie, Sharpie right on anything. And a deck of playing cards. Just keeps your mind occupied if you're in a bad situation. Something to do to keep your brain thinking. Just a little hank of cord there. Not much there. And this also leaves your room to throw you a few snacks in. Before I go out, you throw you some granola bars, trail bars in there. Some trail mix, snacks, whatever you want to put in there. This little pocket over here. Fluorescent orange safety vest. If 
you're down and injured and you're, you're out and you're wanting somebody to find you, you can put this on, help make you visible for location. Just a little cheap pull away poncho, get you out of the rain, quick shelter. Like I said, this leaves me room to add my snacks up here, play a few trail bars and whatever in there. Let's go to this little side pocket here. I have some maps, updated maps of Kentucky. This is all the roadway, highway maps and of Tennessee because this is two areas I'm at a a lot in where well, I live in Kentucky and travel to Tennessee a lot so it could come in handy if I had to have a way to, to find my way around if cell phones went down or GPS went down and a way to find your way around these come in real handy need to pick me up another one for West Virginia and one for Virginia this also leaves me room to add a few more items in here if I wanted to throw some more food snacks or whatever in there side pocket here with a hand sanitizer good for cleaning yourself up or cleaning a wound and also good for uh, starting a fire wet conditions and stuff makes stuff take a spark roll of thread with a needle with a heavy gauge uh, fishing line jute twine contractor's grade twine 50 foot of paracord, 550 cord. There's a 35 foot of uh, number 36 bank line. And some just miscellaneous cordage I wrapped up on this. Never have too much cordage. I'll put that all back in in a minute. Let's get over to the main compartment. And this is what I like about this pack. Let's put stuff over and I'll show you. this down both sides and put all the way down and it opens all the way up Exposed to the inside. it makes everything easy to get to just got a extra lighter I had I tossed it in there never have too many ways to start a fire main bottom of the pack I have got a basic first aid kit I've added a few extra to it I'm not gonna open this bag and go through everything just it is your basic first aid with a few added supplies to it stuff that I need my migraine medicine, uh, aspirin, Tylenol, allergy pills, anti-diarrhea pills, uh, some butterfly bandages, just a few extras I've added to this kit. You can build these up to suit your needs. And old snake bite kit, I'm not really sure. This is old school. Uh, a lot of people say don't use these anymore. I kept it in here just in case. Top. USGI cup, nesting cup. I have boil water. Drink out of. This is my little titanium boundless foliage titanium twig stove. I've got a couple other videos out using this, but it's uh, the reason I decided to put this in this bag is because. You don't have to keep any type of fuel with it to use it. You just collect your own fuel from whatever's around you. But anyway, there it is, the titanium stove you put together. stove, more your stuff, get your food, water, whatever with that. That's here. A hidden woodsman pouch. 
It is a fire kit for a key. I've got a little bit of everything in here. I'm not going to go through the whole pack. It's basic stuff. Tender. We got some of the uh, Kentucky Prepper Fives. Uh, fire plugs. Go check him out. He makes a great fire plug. Got some camp, Coleman camp matches. So I got another lighter. I got a magnesium block and a ferro rod. Some more tender from uh, Mike's Wild World Fire Dust. This is pretty good stuff too. Go check him out on YouTube. The extra little blade there for scraping or whatever from uh, CRKT. And another Light My Fire Scout Steel. Keep all these in here. We'll put that back up in a minute. Moving on. Got to keep the old US mess kit. I'm not going to open this up and go through it. It's just everybody's had a mess kit. They know what's in it. Flew with them before. I said I wasn't going to open it, but I'll go ahead and open it for you. Your mesh tray, your skillet, salt and pepper, a couple more packs of caffeine, hydration, K bar spork. Also comes with pork. Have your knife and your spork. I actually want to take those and drop into my water bottle. I'll probably add some more seasoning to this. Maybe a little pack of hot sauce or something. Taco Bell's great to get you the extra little packs of hot sauce. Throw it in there, add some flavor to your food. Moving on. Got these from Ugly Tent. Kenny from Ugly Tent. Go check his YouTube channel out. He's also got a store in Ashland, Kentucky. This is the uh, survival blanket, but he also makes this into a kit, which is what I have here. It comes in this bag. Open it up. We've got about 50 cord. Contractor's grade trash bag. We've got survival blanket that is reflective on one side. Green on the other. And the tent stakes you'll need to stake it out. Now he has a whole video on setting this up. Go over to Ugly Tent on YouTube and check it out. He's got some videos on setting that thing up. It's pretty awesome. And he sells these kits. You can order them right from him. And also, you can take this bag after you've set all this up, stuff it with some leaves, zip it up, or put your old shirt or something in there and you got your pillow for it right. Got to pick up a couple more of these little kits to throw in a couple of my other bags, keep one in the truck. I got to watch him set it up last year at the spring bushcraft meetup. It's pretty neat, so I grabbed one. That goes down here. Now, Ziploc bag with a clean pair of underwear and dry socks, because if you're going to be out for an extended period of time, you'll want a fresh change. Keeps your feet from getting wrong, and uh, may keep you from stinking too much. But the uh, dry socks, dry underwear. Also have the solid water filter kit. We'll filter in water. Uh, I need to add my water purification tabs to this kit. Uh, filtration to me is, is, what, is what it says it is. It's a filter. Uh, you still need to purify your water. In my opinion, I'd still boil my water. Uh, after I filtered it, I'd still boil it. It's, there's a whole process to it. It's not just stick this in the creek and drink it. I wouldn't recommend it. sit pad or for a knee pad when I'm done working I'm not going to unroll it it's just a uh, just a cheap thin rubber floor mat out of a vehicle just an extra extra one I had I roll it up it's perfect to roll out and if you have to get down your knees to, on the ground or something to keep your legs dry feet dry or throw you sit on a rock or something you can throw it down and sit on it keep your butt dry and I keep that in there staying dry is key also have I light my fire fork and spoon with a little knife edge. 
actually go in this little kit. I'll put it in there with my pillow. Basic fishing kit. It's got a bobber, hooks, sinkers, some small lures for panfish, extra pack of hooks. I can use the inner strands of the 550 cord for string if I have to. Uh, I have some fishing line there. You can have in case you somewhere where you can use fishing stuff around the body of water. Uh, backup knife stays in this pack in case I don't get to grab my belt knife. Is the uh, I got two of these and this one stays in this pack. This is the stainless Mora Garberg, fantastic knife. Very well built, 90 degree spine. Uh, it's got a 90 degree, the end of the pommel sticking out here is 90 degree, you scrape with it, sharp. That's pretty much it. Other than like I said, when I get there to throw us in a vehicle, I would grab me some snacks and throw in there, some trail mix, some granola bars, uh, maybe some kind of candy, some sweet. Um, my coffee, I will, uh, on top of these hydration water packs, I'll throw in a couple of the bags of the uh, tea bag like uh, coffee packs so I can boil my water and stick my tea bag or coffee bag down in and let it steep, make my coffee. Uh, that's pretty much it on this bag for this. this is, I could use this right here and get back to where I need to be. No problems, hopefully. I think it's uh, set up pretty good. Uh, probably need to add some duct tape to it. I haven't put that in there yet. And if you think anything else I need to add to this kit, uh, put it in the comments. Uh, if you haven't already, give me a like and a sub and share some videos. But, uh, thank you for watching. I'm Outdoors out and God bless.